What is the energy for today? What does the viewer have to see? Let's see in here. Okay, so you have uh, orphaned gathering together um, and excessive and then uh, the joyous and then there's also contemplation so you must be thinking about doing something um could be feeling a little bit a little bit left out or um it's definitely with the orphan card it's something that makes you feel somewhat empty um so you might be thinking something changing your your view and it's definitely maybe wanting to come together uh, unifying assembling coming together and then the excess is really about stress and over overwhelming things that have happened um, but it'll take you to a place of happiness whatever this is whatever this transformation is I, I do feel it's something that uh, you might be treading on uh, like treading on water to maybe change or maybe to um, maybe go through a change as far as um, coming to a conclusion that something needs to be done. I feel like this card is something where like you're walking on eggshells. So it's something that makes you very nervous. Uh, it could be, you know, an upset either for yourself or for the people around you. Okay. So very interesting kind of energy, guys. Let's see what this means for you guys. Welcome. I hope you guys are doing well and staying happy and healthy and all that good stuff. And I do appreciate you coming on to see me today. Please like, share, and subscribe, guys. So let's see here. Uh, card 38. Card 38, orphaned. And so this is really um, like seeing different or... Uh, maybe fixing something, getting balance, maybe from a pers uh, um something personal that's been happening to you. It's like you have these kind of differences and maybe you're, you're learning to balance those differences out. Um, pretty much maybe communicate uh, about some kind of disharmony or miscommunication that you've had with somebody. Um, you got the Six of Wands and the Page of Wands, which is beautiful because... I feel you're balancing out with something. There's definitely a sense of um, changing your viewpoint. Um, perhaps like an understanding that um, you've had some time to think about. That's definitely why I feel like this card. It's like you've had some time to really contemplate stuff and, and go about things in a different direction. Um, but perhaps maybe you've opened up to something and maybe you're giving something a try it's like you're giving something a try that's what it feels like so maybe that's a new direction you're going towards this could be something that you've been waiting for some sort of good news some kind of good message uh for some of you i see maybe even um you know starting a family for some of you uh maybe desiring to start a family like children babies that kind of that kind of thing um <clears throat> let's see what is the six of wands e even somebody who struggled maybe not being able to you know conceive i feel like something's happening there um for some of you i, I don't feel it's all of you six of wands what is the six of wands please what is the six of wands so you have the the queen of wands uh with the the, the ace of swords the world the two of swords and the empress so it's like having a new beginning definitely having that new beginning it's time you've gone through some kind of changes some kind of turmoil perhaps even good times um i do feel like this is the stars at the top so there's definitely a sense of a guidance and look you have the world here right in the middle so is this like even um a sense of there's a lot of passion in this movement there's a lot of passion in this news that you hear it's very uplifting. Maybe it's truth. Maybe it's telling the truth to somebody or somebody telling you the truth about something. Um, really like getting getting things out in the open is what I feel. And at one point, this could be a situation for you that had you somewhat upside down, uh, opposing to things. So maybe you're softening with something because you've had some kind of clarity to perhaps sway you in a different way. And that's definitely okay. You can't feel bad about changing um, the way you think now compared to what you thought 10 years, maybe even five years back. I mean, even last year, 
it's about changing yourself and not being stuck in those ideologies. So perhaps you're, you're something you oppose now. It's almost like you're maybe allowing it or willing to give it a try, something like that. But there's definitely a sense of um, really choosing something here and seeing things for what they are. So perhaps maybe you didn't quite see things. There's a sense of a fogginess to um, a situation that maybe what I feel with that is that maybe you turned your head up to something um, because you didn't want to deal with it, maybe emotionally, maybe passionately. Uh, but I feel it's like whatever you choose, it's going to bring you to abundance with the Empress card here. It's really starting over. Maybe this is even for some of you where you see yourself as a different person now. Um, as far as being complete within yourself, as far as oneness, like um, within your mind, your body and your spirit, where maybe you are having this sense of appreciation for yourself and it's taking you to a place of abundance uh, with the empress. This thought definitely could be that maybe you're just going towards this passionate kind of new beginning that's giving you a sense of opportunity for advancement. Um, <clears throat> but... I, I mean, you have two female cards out here, the Queen of Wands and the Empress right down in the middle. Is this your transformation, like really following your, your, your passion and really transforming to this Empress? OK, um, what is the Two of Swords? That's the only one that's a little bit difficult. The Two of Swords, are you having a hard time deciding between two people, maybe a wife and somebody that you're really, truly in love with, maybe um, a mother and a wife? Uh, whatever that situation there could be some sort of conflict there um what is the two of swords what's the two of swords so the page of coins wanting to converse i feel uh wanting to move in a different direction with that page of coins uh starting over with something and look at that you have the wheel whatever this choice is the obstacle is that maybe you're still thinking about it and you haven't quite done it. So <clears throat> what you're going to come out deciding is actually going to give you a new beginning with the wheel and the page of coins. Maybe being able to communicate with somebody or within a situation that you've held back um, from before. And there, there you have the tower. So it's something rapidly. Uh, and it's going to cause a shakeup perhaps to the people around you with the five of wands, the four of um four of coins the emperor and the magician so someone's really either very envious about your changes or envious about the direction that you want to go with it's somebody who can't go with you that's what it's that's what it feels like and maybe this is what the conflict is um you know somebody you may want to move away from a situation you may want to move away from but there's somebody there, whether it's family, friends, or even a workplace that doesn't want you to advance. There's a sense of jealousy here. That's what I feel here. Maybe manipulating the situation so that you don't move. So beware of people who are not, um, they don't have your best interest at hand. But I see that the choice that you're going to make, it's a very tough choice. But you're going to have victory and success and really go towards abundance. Um, what is the Empress? What's the Empress, please? And perhaps maybe this is something that you said no to in the past, if that makes sense. That's what it feels like. Something you said no to, and now perhaps it's a good idea, or maybe now it's the it's the good time. So the Ace of Cups with the... Okay, so you want to start something. Um, whatever this is, it, it's definitely a sense of you can do it. You can... If it's starting that new business, if it's moving, it's a, if it's buying that house, if it's going towards that partner, um, whatever it is, it's very abundant. It's it's definitely a chance at new love, okay? Starting over again. So perhaps maybe, um, let's see what the Queen of, Queen of Wands, what's the Queen of Wands? Um, let's see here. So you have the Queen of Swords and the Lovers. So that's very interesting that you got two queens here clarifying the lovers. So this is really knowing. I think this is somebody who has taught you a lot about true love. Um, perhaps somebody who has somehow opened up your heartstrings to this lovers. Meaning it's something that stomped you and made you realize, okay, I need to choose different. You may have to pick between two. 
because there is definitely a choice here but i think with the queen of wands and this ace of swords it's like you know who it is you know who's going to give you that success or perhaps if it's not a person it's a, it's a situation that you're you're pulling towards um <clears throat> i definitely do feel there's a choice here definitely the the one that you want to pick is the person that's going to be successful for you okay um, at the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Swords, and at the top of the deck is the Sun. So healing from something, okay? Meaning um, maybe getting over something that you've been opposing for a long time. Maybe not making the changes to to um, to be healthier. This is a healthier life choice, and it all really stems down to who is in your environment, okay? It's almost as if you've learned some sort of karmic lessons with the world, um, and you really, it's almost like your energy is really trying to push you to the right direction with the world. Okay, and I definitely do feel it's time to change. Maybe this is time time to move out of homes, time to move out of um, state, um, home, like home, state, maybe family, um, new job, perhaps, you know, maybe new partner um something like that but whatever it is there's a shake up meaning it's gonna rock your foundation i think it's gonna rock your foundation into something more stable but the foundation that's gonna be rocked is the people who don't want you to go forward um <clears throat> excuse me because i do feel like there is a sense of um not going forward maybe because there's been people holding you back you know but the lovers is definitely this this kind of energy where this is where you want to be I, I definitely do feel that making a choice maybe making somebody your wife um or your husband or just getting proposed to or maybe deciding to start something new in a relationship meeting somebody new maybe a very deep soulmate um so it's very positive very very good kind of energy um yeah that's what it feels like let's see here the next one is gathering together so coming together in a situation um let's see mm, like something that becomes unified um combining forces with someone else um it's almost as if um there's you got a better chance being with the better with the with the right person than you do with the wrong person and you have a better chance when you hang around uh, with the right tribe is what it feels like. Look at that, the king, I'm sorry, the knight of coins and the knight of cups. So, wow, this is somebody who really wants to take some sort of action. This is someone who wants to come together. Um, definitely fighting. I feel like this is a sense of fighting and really perhaps maybe even speaking emotionally, whereas before maybe they've been avoiding it, whether this is you or them. It's almost as if somebody's standing up and taking some sort of action to start over uh, with something. With the Knight of Cups, definitely emotional. Um, and the Knight of Cup coin, the Knight of Coins, it's something that um, perhaps it took you a while to learn your lessons. You know, there's a sense of stubbornness in that card where maybe it, it, you, you were opposing it, definitely opposing it for a long time. And then I think what some of this uh, feeling is, is that you've been opposing it on the inside, but that yet there's still something passionate driving you, you know, that's, that's definitely, let's see, what is this Knight of Coins? What's the Knight of Coins, please? So, um, you have the Two of Wands, um, planning, okay, coming together, traveling, um, perhaps just having this knowledge that you just sort of woke up to, by working on it, really, um, doing work on yourself, seeing things different, uh, there's a sense of maybe coming together, even traveling, um, maybe a new, they said union, maybe a new union, a new sense of coming. Two of Wands, for me, it could definitely be a soulmate connection um, that could be very, like, entwined in some kind of passion or almost a, a knowledge uh, of... Um, of each other um of who you are perhaps i definitely do feel it could be a sense of knowing who your twin is spiritually um i do feel there's a sense of being binded there what is the knight of cups knight of cups so you have 
the um, Ace of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Sun. So you see, <clears throat> with this Two of Wands, it's very much something that you're connected to. There's definitely a sense of knowledge and knowing for some reason. And something also balancing. So this is what a fight has been taking. You've been taking. Uh, the fight, I think, is to get out of your star stubbornness for maybe being compliant to something other than what truly makes you happy. That's definitely definitely what it feels like. But Ace of Wands, you got the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. So wow, three three aces, the Two of Cups, the high, the um, Empress, and the Lovers. So what an interesting reading. And the, it's, it's just like you're destined for great things and you really have to keep that mindset that that's where you're headed towards even though you have some kind of um shaky ground that you might be going through at this very moment i feel there's a sense of something's going to happen uh, i think october is going to be explosive the the planets are are lining up uh in scorpio and mars and it's very <clears throat> it's very turmoil kind of energy but it gets things done you see um so i see some kind of turmoil coming for you perhaps in the month of october but it's something that's going to balance something out and allow you to move forward with something that is healing perhaps something that is what you truly want as far as with the lovers and the two of cups there's definitely that sense of some kind of either a kindred spirit a twin flame or just something very um um something very touching very compassionate okay so coming together maybe this is new people that you're meeting and you you know you're meeting with people that are like-minded individuals and maybe people who have had a sense of an awakening that's that's definitely what it feels like so you're attracting you're attracting goodness into your life um <clears throat> definitely so let's see here i want to know what is excess card 22 i'm sorry 28 so this is really you're being overwhelmed um by something um definitely a sense of um maybe thinking a lot a lot of the, the worries the things that you um you just can't hold back anymore there is a sense of having a breaking point with this card right here um it's almost like you've met you you've met that limit and if you continue one more one more day in this kind of circumstance where you're just carrying a big load for other people or even for yourself it's almost as if you're gonna break and that's what the tower feels like it definitely feels like it's something that's gonna shake things up but for a more positive um a more positive effect the more uh, something better is gonna happen for you the ones that came out are the fool so there is definitely a sense of okay you know you can't keep yourself going in the same the same rhythm the same like hamster wheel you know you've already learned learned this, this stuff and it's like if you keep doing that you don't really allow yourself to grow you know uh this is really where you take that leap of faith with the fool um and, and just really question yourself i think it's time to move on because whatever you've been carrying on your chest it, it's getting heavier and heavier and heavier where you just want to sort of pop um i do feel something will happen for you uh soon and i do feel it's something that's going to make things balanced look at that you got the six 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 of coins the justice and the nine of cups so it's a wish fulfillment it's a win for your side it's something that there's some kind of karmic justice that is balancing out for you because you've gone through so much struggle so maybe it's meeting this person that you so been wanting to meet with the lovers and the two of cups um definitely it could be new love here with the ace of cups so i feel like whatever struggles you've been you've been in it's almost like you're getting paid off with good karma now you might have been stuck in a karmic cycle where it's just bad. Um, but I also feel it's an awakening and it's a sense of you taking control of the situation, letting go of something stubborn on the inside of you that caused you to somehow 
um, really keep you in in a position of feeling um, opposing opposing things. Um, maybe even playing for the wrong team, like at work, you know, um, like just being led by different things now, I feel, okay? Um, so I do feel with the Justice card, that definitely could be divorced too, guys. I mean, what is the Justice card? Because that definitely is something that can help you somehow move away from something. So it's funny because the Eight of Swords is in reverse. So this is some, maybe an end of a contract. End of a contract, if it's business. End of a marriage, end of a commitment, something like that. But it's something that caused a lot of stress, a lot of burden. So maybe this is becoming free of that burden. Maybe really getting to that top where you've met the limit and you just can't go any further the way you've been going. This is a change. And it's definitely a wish fulfillment. It's something that you've been wishing for. It's something you've been desiring, something you've been wanting. You've been wanting some kind of balance. Um, <clears throat> and it could definitely be that this is something that you've been quite uh, manifesting for some time. What's the Eight of Swords in Reverse? Eight of Swords in Reverse, please. Eight of Swords, this one right here. Okay, so you have the Four of Swords. See, putting it to rest, something's coming to an end for you. Um, definitely changing. I feel like these are changes for you. What did, I want to know, what is the Nine of Cups? What's the Nine of Cups? The Nine of Cups, please. What is the Nine of Cups? So you got the High Priestess. And the Ten of Coins. So either you've got to take that step to perhaps expose something and then have your success. It's like you will not get your success until you bring something to the surface. Um, maybe you're waiting for that perfect moment. Um, this is also where there could be secrets and the secrets need to be revealed. Um it's almost like a sense of awakening to these things and you know where you're going to have that growth. There's also a sense of with the Ten of Pentacles, there's something that's um, you could have a lot of success in, but it's almost like you have to somehow um, pay attention, like pay attention as far as with your energy, as far as when you get that feeling to move, you know, um, don't question it, meaning moving take action you know take action towards something so what is the high priestess i'm just curious what is the high priestess what is the high priestess is this a knowing is this um um a sense of um with the three of swords it's almost like a sense of knowing that you have to break down and do something you've got you can't keep going this burden is something that's really detrimental to you being happy with the Three of Swords, I feel like there's a lot of loneliness. Um, and perhaps maybe you've kept yourself in a situation where there's just been no love, no feeling. Perhaps this is knowing that you have to end a separation here with the Three of Swords. It's, it could be a separation. It's also, I feel this aspect of this reading is communication. It's something that you know you have to sort of, sort of step up to the plate and do. Um, there's something that needs to be exposed and it could be tying to that third party situation. That's why there's definitely a sense of having to pick between the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, perhaps maybe you're seeking legal counsel too um, to get you some kind of, um, to get you some sort of help or something. Okay, um, let's see here. So whatever this is, it's it's almost like you're you're trying to let go of it. Um, there's a lot of sense of sadness, but there's also a sense of a relief to this Three of Swords. But really because, like I said, something has to be sort of opened. Um, maybe a line of communication. Uh, there's definitely a sense of having some kind of truth with the Ace of Swords. If we look back here, there's a sense of having a truth with the Ace of Swords. And it's sort of... Uh, the way I placed them too, it's almost as if um, something that um, it's something that's going to rock someone else's world more than yours. Meaning, uh, like the person that you have to maybe leave or convey a message 
that you maybe don't want to be with them or you want to quit or whatever they don't see it coming they're almost like a sense of they have you where they want you you see um so i want to know what is um the joy is this is what happening happiness and delight comes in and like good things start happening and uh, friendly people come in your life and you just have like this kind of exuberance happening to you like you're just illuminated and you attract good things you know so look at that the ten of cups being completely happy um the devil is something that could be very passionate um towards you maybe this is being being healed from something that um has been very toxic I do feel like this is a sense of being sorry about something with the Five of Cups. Um, sorry in the sense that maybe you haven't taken the step to either apologize to somebody or to end some kind of... Um, it's almost like you feel sorry to move forward. How can I say that? It's like you're making these plans and, and visuals in your mind to move forward from something. But yet it's almost like you feel guilty for moving forward, you know? Like, almost like you, you can't have your fun. Um, but it's definitely something that you need to surrender to with the judgment. In other, in other words, let it go. There's also a sense of feeling um, tremendously guilty about maybe cutting off communication with someone. Um, maybe isolating someone from you. Okay, that could be what the Three of Swords came out as. As wanting to break a separation or wanting to break a non-communicative kind of situation that's been going on um so definitely i do feel there is a sense of maybe healing this and i do feel with the devil and the the ten of cups it's something that it just puts this kind of warmth in your heart like and and i think that the reason that it keeps coming up for you is because it's something that's very dear to your heart it, it's something that's um very detrimental to you being happy. But let's see, what is this devil? Um, it's something that, of course, it's a, it's something that makes you feel good. Like you, you keep thinking about it. It's something happy, you know? Um, so you're manifesting this perhaps. Okay, you've got the Eight of Cups and the Death. See, you're walking away from some kind of trouble, some kind of toxic situation. There's definitely a sense of walking away from your regrets surrendering to him in other words coming clean about stuff maybe apologizing and definitely a sense of there's definitely that sense of being scared or not scared but sort of deterring yourself from making a hard decision because you know you have to let other people down but there is definitely a sense of walking away to that toxic kind of way of thinking which is healthy look at that the death card and the eight of cups for the devil walking away from it having transformation so not holding back anymore um i feel like this is a major shift that's happening like i said the the energy that's going to be coming up for october it's very it's very um it's some crazy energy guys so just get ready mid-month october it's just going to start getting really sort of crazy i think in the whole world but um, <clears throat> it's something that you can weather as long as you keep yourself um, balanced. And I definitely do feel like this is where your destiny is pulling you. So maybe a second chance in a situation as well. It's going to bring a lot of happiness, remember. Taking you from way being down in the bottom to taking you to being top, like as far as happiness, okay? Um, how can I conclude this story for today, please? Okay, so there is uh, mending something. You guys are mending something. Um, like I said, it's very dear to your heart. It's something that you've thought about for a long time. It's something that it brings a good feeling to you to think about this situation. Maybe you have a nostalgia memory about something that made you happy in the past. But this is ending a separation with the Three of Swords. This is healing from broken hearts from the past um letting bygones be bygones okay there's the star okay that is definitely healing this is definitely where you're being guided you're not walking away from it you're not opposing it any longer i do feel with the hangman you've been enlightened you might have helped along the way the queen of wands could definitely be that person that helped you okay and then there you go you can make your plans together you can go forward 
there's the two of wands as far as you know i think you're coming together with a soulmate where you can move and and really um whatever delays have stopped you from getting that perfect partnership i definitely do feel that that is where you're moving that's definitely where you're going towards okay um i want to know what is the karmic cycle here what's the karmic cycle so they continue to look at you um this is definitely a very intense soulmate connection perhaps maybe even twin flame um but there is definitely a sense of somebody making a healthier choice um they could definitely look back at the past with you um you know looking at your your media or your social media or pictures or something like that the sword in the rose so this is somebody who was either betrayed and is healing from that betrayal um i definitely do feel like there's a sense of reflecting the truth and having some kind of clarity that's the only way you're going to be able to heal and this definitely could be somebody who's been sneaky and snaky and um i definitely got that uh from a card where um, in the beginning of the reading there's a sense of somebody being envious of you moving forward so be aware of that because this is definitely what that means um so really be careful the snake energy the lightning so sudden change shocking news surprising epiphany um addiction so codependent obsessions possessions controlling so someone's healing from that remember we clarified the devil and we got the death card and the eight of cups so someone is is really healing from an addictive kind of personality or being around someone who's very addictive and controlling um <clears throat> so cupid's arrow this is having faith that love is coming surprise invitation or meeting so remember i told you something's going to come out of the blue or maybe you're meeting somebody new maybe you've cleared your karma to meet this person if it isn't somebody who's coming back and somehow rekindling something so the mirror mirroring each other self-image um relationships reflect reflect our wounds so introspect